Welcome to the first At Your Own Pace virtual in motion workshop. My name is Jen Saponis. I'm the Director of Regional Planning at the Capital Region Transportation Council. This workshop is designed for you as a member of the public to learn a little bit about the in motion plan, the process we've created to develop the plan, and an opportunity to provide and engage in the process and provide feedback. We're calling this workshop Inform and Imagine because we've recently initiated the update to the region's long range transportation plan, which we're calling In Motion. We're informing the public that we've begun this process, and we're also beginning to define the future of the region transportation system and lay out goals for developing a long term transportation policy and strategy. So, what is the purpose of this workshop? We've designed this self-paced virtual workshop to meet you where you are, provide some critical information about the plan and the process we've laid out, and get feedback to help us develop the key goals, policies, and actions that will be in the final plan. At the end of a short presentation, we'll provide instructions for how you can access and take a brief survey that gives you the opportunity to tell us what is important to you about transportation, as well as your needs and challenges. The information submitted through the survey will be used to develop the guiding goals and planning framework for the InMotion plan. If you'd prefer to share comments or more information beyond the survey, we'll also provide instructions on how to do so. We want to hear your vision of what the future transportation system in the capital region should look like to best serve all of the people who live, work, visit, or do business here. So who are we? The Capital Region Transportation Council, formerly known as the Capital District Transportation Committee, or CDTC, is the Metropolitan Planning Organization for the region that includes Albany, Rensselaer, Schenectady, and Saratoga counties, except for South Glens Falls and Moreau. The MPO is a federally required entity for metropolitan areas with a population of 50,000 or more to coordinate transportation planning and program programming federal transportation funds for local transportation projects. The region consists of 77 municipalities and has a population of nearly 850,000. Our members include a number of local governments, as well as CDTA, the New York State Department of Transportation, the Capital District Regional Planning Commission, the New York State Thruway, the Albany Airport, and the Port of Albany. And what is in the In Motion Plan? The In Motion Plan is our long range transportation plan for the region. This is a document that MPOs are required to create under federal transportation law. And it's a blueprint for regional transportation that reflects a shared vision for the future and creates policy and a plan for how the region will invest in its transportation system. The plan balances our aspirations, what we'd like to see, with available resources, what's feasible to implement. The plan has a 25 year horizon. It is typically updated every five years. In the past, sometimes we've done minor updates to tweak things around the edges, but this is a wholesale rebuilding of the region's long range, long range transportation plan. It's developed collaboratively with transportation providers throughout the region, with local governments, state agencies, our private sector stakeholders, and the public. And we're asking everyone, are we making the right investments in the transportation system? What is the region's vision for the next generation transportation system? How do we leave what we have in a state of good repair and build and enhance what we need in order to be a more resilient and thriving region for the next generation? We've broken the planning process into five phases for the in motion plan. The first phase was data collection. We collected and reviewed a variety of information and data about the region's infrastructure, economy, how we travel, how we've developed and used land and who lives in the region and how that has changed. This data helped develop a number of reports, including the congestion management plan, the coordinated plan and a regional trends story map which can all be found on the InMotion website. We're currently at the inform stage and we're moving into Imagine. So we're announcing that we've initiated the planning process 
and we're beginning to develop a vision for the regional transportation system. The next phase is decision making. This is a critical stage where Transportation Council members and the InMotion Task Force will be asked to identify the policies that will guide transportation investments in this region for the next 25 years. They will make these decisions based on feedback and input from the public and stakeholders. And last is the review and adopt stage. We anticipate releasing a draft in motion plan to the public to review and comment and provide feedback on in June, 2025. The Transportation Council will then recommend the plan, the final in motion plan to be adopted in September, 2025. All phases of the process will provide opportunities for the public to engage and weigh in. So in the short term, we're promoting a brief survey, collecting and reviewing responses, and using these to develop the plan's goals. Next, we'll draft a regional vision statement for the plan. These goals and the regional vision statement will be shared with the public. We've created an in motion plan project website. You can reach the website at www.inmotionplan.org. On the website, you'll learn more about the Capital Region Transportation Council, the in motion plan process, and you'll find events and news updates on opportunities to engage in the process. You'll find surveys and links to things like the Regional Trends Story Map, the Congestion Management Plan, the Coordinated Plan, and other materials related to in motion. So what will the in motion plan do? Simply put, this plan will put our ideas into action. It'll lay out the major investment priorities for the region. Are there big ideas or projects that we should be working towards implementing to create a transportation system that works for current and future residents? These, needs to, these need to be in the plan or projects need to be in line with the goals and policies in the plan in order for future federal transportation investments to be assigned to them. This is how in the past, we've been able to create a 200 mile regional trail system, CDTA's three bus plus routes, build the Albany airport connector, do countless safety improvements throughout the region and even major congestion relief projects like roundabouts. So let's pause and look at where we've been and where we're at. The region sits at the confluence of the Hudson and Mohawk rivers on the traditional lands of the people of the Delaware, Mohawk, Haudenosaunee, and Stockbridge Munsee community band of Moh Mohicans. These histories and cultures continue today and are reflected in the names given to many towns, creeks, and mountains that are part of our region's vocabulary. The region also has a rich transportation history as a location of the first turnpike, the greatest public works project in North America, which of course is the Erie Canal, the first successful steam passenger railroad, the oldest municipal airport, and more. Today, the region sits at multiple crossroads, the Hudson and Mohawk Rivers, I-87 and 90, and the recently completed Empire State Trail. All of this history, as well as extensive data and information gathering on who lives here, how we developed and how do we travel has provided a baseline of information. And here's a snapshot of that baseline information. There are over 14,000 lanes, mile, lane miles of roadway and over a thousand bridges owned by New York state, counties, cities, towns and villages in the region. Of the 26 highway and railroad bridges that cross the Hudson River, 16 of these are in our region. This includes two railroad bridges and even one mixed use trail bridge. Our bridges that cross our two major rivers carry over 500,000 vehicles each day. The region's extensive network of highways, roads, and bridges has an estimated replacement value exceeding $20 billion. 
Bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure, which includes paved trails, sidewalks, and bike facilities, has an estimated replacement value of over $1 billion. So what did we learn from the extensive information and data we gathered in the data collection phase? Well, the capital region bucks the upstate trend of population loss and has continued to grow, but that growth has been slow. Housing affordability is increasingly becoming a concern with rent outpacing renters' wages over time and a two-bedroom apartment being unaffordable for single renters in all four of our counties. There are also significant home ownership gaps between the median average sale price and what is an affordable mortgage. After years of experiencing a reduction in injuries and fatalities from traffic crashes, the region saw an uptick, which has continued since 2020. Employees without cars have longer commutes and travel times to reach jobs, making access to op opportunity unequal. We have aging infrastructure. Our bridges are old, many of which are over 75 years old. Some are even upwards of 100 years old. And these will need significant investment in the coming years. Disconnected development has led to more driving and has made it more difficult for those who would like to use transportation options like walking or transit to do so. And the number of people working from home had been increasing since 2018, but that trend rapidly accelerated during 2020. While there are fewer people working from home today than there were in 2020, the number is still three times more than there were in 2018. And let's not forget to celebrate our progress. We have more transportation options today than ever before with services like bike share and car share and CDTA's on-demand flex program in addition to a robust transit system we have been able to develop services and affordable options for more people. So now we want to know more about your experience and your priorities. To take a brief survey that we've developed, you can go, you have three options. You can visit the InMotion website at www.inmotionplan.org backslash participate or go to the home page and select the participate tab or go directly to the survey by typing the at the URL address there um, for JotForm into your web browser. Or if you have a smartphone nearby, use your camera app, hold your device so that the QR code appears in the viewfinder in the camera app. Once you do that, there should be a notification that pops up. Tap the notification to open a link directly to the survey. If after you do this, the brief survey, you have more you'd like to comment, or maybe you have a question, you can reach us by email or calling. You can email info at capitalmpo.org. You can call us at 518-458-2161. You can also visit the website inmotionplan.org to find out how to subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media. If you do that, you will keep up to date as this plan progresses and learn about new events and opportunities to get involved. If you're looking for us on social media, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You can search for us at the Capital Region Transportation Council or at Capital MPO. Please follow us. Um, and thank you for listening to this brief virtual workshop. And thank you for taking the survey. <laughs>